now the next topic is structures okay now let us see what are structures in c structure is a collection of different data types which are grouped together and each element in c structure is called a member right for example if you use an array right then what is an array array is a collection of similar data type so it it is a collection of similar data type right for example if you created an array int a 10 then this array is only going to take 10 elements of type integer but in structures you can make collection of different data types for example you can make a uh, within within one single structure you can uh, have a character you can have a integer number you can have a floating point number or you can have a double number and so on you can have a collection of different data types at different uh, intervals you can even have pointers Uh, in structures so there are few rules for the structures let me just write the formal definition of a structure here so in c structure is a collection of different data types which are grouped together which are grouped together and each element in c each element in a c structure is called a member okay so there are some simple rules in the structure for example if you want to access structure members in c then structure variable should be declared right structures is uh, in other way you can also say the structures are user defined data types that means same as you are, you, you are using primitive data types what are primitive data types if you take integer character float right they are called the primitive data types but structure in some way is are called as a user defined data types that means user can define what is the kind of memory he requires for his variable but that memory will be made by only by the combination of these primitive data types okay then same way for example if you declare a integer variable you do int a right and this a variable is of type integer right so in the same way when you declare a structure for example you define struct name b right that means this b variable will be of type name okay so we'll see what is the different uh, how to define a structure and how to declare a variable with a structure in uh, in a little while okay so let me just uh, tell you one of some of the basic rules in structures so in in structures if you want to access structure members in c the structure variable should be declared okay and the second rule is many structure variables can be declared for any structure and member will be allocated to each of them separately okay so the second rule was you can declare many structure members for example you can declare a variable int or float or character within a structure and for all these variables there will be separate memory allocations okay and it is a best practice to initialize a structure with null declaration okay let me just uh, tell you an overview <coughs> what is the difference between arrays variables and structures so what is the difference between c variables arrays and structures okay so in case of variables a normal c variable
can hold only one data of one data type at a time right now for example if you use int b is equal to 5 right that means this b variable is of type integer and this v, b variable is storing the value 5 right it cannot hold two different values at the same time for example if i do b is equal to 6 and b is equal to 5 that means these are two different value, uh, values and this one single variable cannot hold two different values okay and then an array can hold group of data of same type okay now for example if I created int a 10 right that means this is an array and this array is only going to hold data of type integer it is not going to hold any other data which is not an integer okay and then we have a structure can hold group of data of different data types so this is what makes the structure different from the arrays so in arrays if you declare an array then you can only have a same similar kind of data but in structures you can have different kind of data for example you can have data of uh, an integer a character a float a double or a long double within a structure okay so now let us see what is the basic syntax to declare a structure to declare a structure you write something like struct this will be struct name and then you can have data type variable name one for example then we have will be having data type variable name two and so on okay so this is a basic way to declare a structure and then if you want to initialize a variable of this structure then you can use struct name okay you have to write struct struct name and for example a now this a variable will be of type structure okay now let us uh, define a structure which is going to store student information right but before that just let, uh, i'm just letting you know that in c++ uh, if you have studied uh, c++ then you have, must have studied the concept of classes and these concepts of classes is, are an extension of structures in classes you can have functions you can have different um, another variables and even you can have access modifiers for example you can in classes you can have access modifiers as public private or protected etc or protected but in C uh, in structures we do not have this, these different access modifiers and we cannot define classes within a structure okay but in C in classes you can have that right so this is the basic difference between a structures and a classes uh, classes are actually logical extension of structures okay